scorpios hello you guys welcome back to the channel all right um scorpio this is going to be an energy poll for you if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the lot t now if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have your playlist linked below in the description box of course all right if you guys want to purchase one of my decks you sure can all right it's called the divine deck so it is still available <clears throat> if you want to purchase all right um the information should be in the description box as well all right so let's just get in swine with it and see what we have for you holy spirit holy angels holy father going off for scorpio's energy pull scorpio's energy pull let's see scorpio's energy pull wow let's see right here scorpio's energy pull Here, Scorpios energy pull. Wow, Scorpios, <laughs> you're waiting for somebody to make a decision. Period. Okay, this could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra, Pisces. But you're waiting for someone to make a decision. You felt like this person walked out on you before and abandon you a lot of you had to pick up the pieces from this connection from this relationship that is coming through i feel like with the seven of wands here you did everything that you could have done within the situation okay this person was just being very guarded towards you okay i'm definitely seeing like there is some kind of legacy that is already built here okay with this situation so a lot of you could be still dealing with you know the connection of this person like a child that is involved a company that is involved something that you have put a lot of work and investment in possibly a house okay i'm definitely seeing there's a lot of secrets that is hidden i'm seeing that there is a lot of spiritual intuition on your end coming through like you feel like this person is not telling you the truth about something and i'm also seeing like there's a lot of warning with this energy, but I'm also seeing balance here with the Six of Pentacles that is going to be coming. So this person is coming out of nowhere, though. I feel like for those of you who are just not having any kind of communication, you're going to get some, not the best. But it's like this person out of nowhere coming towards you, but I'm not seeing them making a decision whether or not they want to move this way or that way with you okay i'm just going to be honest here i'm seeing the six of wands as well so there's a lot of success riding on this situation as well because you're moving towards goal scorpio within your life and you don't want to leave this person behind even though they did a lot of things to you they made you feel very cold or alone within this life I feel like this person is not someone that chases you. I feel like, you know what, you wait around or you chase them. I don't know. I'm just reading the cards, you guys. So <laughs> don't come for me. All right, because I'm seeing like you're waiting and this person is not making any move. I'm chasing you with passion and determination. This person is mostly coming out of nowhere with some force of energy, okay? All right, so tell me more, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father yeah so no communication look at that queen of swords energy you know some kind of nonsense was happening here with this relationship i'm just getting like okay i'm done kind of energy like i'm done with this nonsense this person has some kind of secrets also this could be sexual or drug addiction drinking this person could be in another relationship I feel like this person, whoever this is, Scorpio, they have a whole different life here. This is what I'm seeing here. They have two different lives that they're weighing or juggling, okay? They're not paying attention to you either. That's another thing that I'm getting with this two of pentacles. It's like they're focused on the, the that that juggle and that that two balls, the two pentacles. <laughs> I'm also seeing a contract here that's in reverse and there is a lot of negativity 
there's a lot of hurtful things that have happened within this connection between you and this person there's a lot of jealousy a lot of negativity this person is bitter i'm seeing that a lot of you are trying to reverse this contract here within the six it's crazy you have two six so far right next to each other the six of wands the six of cups energy i'm just seeing the seven of wands i'm not the seven the eight of wands the seven of wands I feel like this person does care about you and does love you in their own way and a lot of you might be saying oh my god you know first you said that this person you know they have different lives this person is being guarded and now this person loves me yeah i'm seeing the eight of wands i'm not gonna not say it <laughs> i see the comments y'all listen if you want a personal give me a email okay but this is a general baby i'm tapping into all of y'all so take what resonates and throw out the rest, okay? Ooh, something fell. What is this? What is this? The high fraud. So some of you could be married too. Some of you could be married. There's a lot of jealousy here. All I'm just seeing a nurturing, kind energy. This person not focusing on you at all, putting you down. Some of you might have an, had an STD from this person or some kind of illness because of this person. But you didn't do it. They ventured out due to the addiction, the sexual addiction, due to, you know, bringing somebody in into the relationship. I'm just seeing a lot of things that you just don't know about within the eight of swords, keeping you restricted or keeping you trapped here. A lot of you are feeling trapped because this person is the one that has the opportunities or make the money. And you feel like you, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to leave. I'm also seeing your self-confidence is really low within this situation. Ace of Pentacles, Judgment. So the Holy Spirit is saying there's going to be new money coming in. There's going to be a new opportunity coming in for you. This is going to help you to move on. For those of you who are going to take that route. But I'm seeing a decision that hasn't been made yet. Okay, so this is you. The angels are giving you that opportunity, that decision to make well that opportunity to make that decision okay there's an incompletion as well within this connection so a lot of you could be broken up okay a lot of you could be broken up because you're trying to reverse this contract for those of you could be a marriage where you're just like you don't want to be married no more but this person wants to work on it because this person is coming up as the high front but they're not putting in no passion <laughs> they're not chasing you they don't want to sign the papers they want to keep you trapped you feel trapped Okay, I'm seeing the five of cups. Wow, five of cups, the high priestess. A lot of you have um, similar energies about you. Okay, this could be someone Scorpio that you have. Hmm, Scorpios, you could have like a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy in your chart, and this person could be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Or cancer, because I'm seeing a lot of major arcana here, but I cannot ignore the fact that there is a similarity between you and this person. Okay, there's like this cold energy between you and this person. Um, they the way you do things or talk to each other. Okay, there's a coldness there. I'm also seeing Gemini again and Virgo energy in the magician major arcana pisces <laughs> a lot of emotions with cancer and pisces major arcana i'm also seeing gemini aquarius uh, taurus leo here we have aries libra taurus with the hyphron a lot of stubbornness a lot of similar energies coming out i'm also seeing a mental break y'all a lot of you are on a breakup or some kind of break it's like you need to heal like this person stabbed you in the back too many times with a ten of swords there's a lot of mental and physical agony okay i'm also seeing a, a conversation that is coming up for you and this person that's coming through okay i feel like the holy spirit wants you guys to heal and forgive and let go if you want this to work all right tell me more holy spirit and it just it's simple as that forgiveness and it's so hard it is so hard seven of cups energy queen of pentacles <sighs> look at that 
Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. That's crazy. That's another similar energy between you and this person. There's a contract for you guys to actually grow together, to be stable together, to create together, and also to teach each other how to communicate. And some kind of spiritual ac access too. So I'm seeing like a lot of you supposed to like grow spiritually together. That's your contract. <clears throat> That's your 10 vibration, okay? Then we have the eight of pentacles in reverse, the page of pentacles as well. I'm seeing a lot of stubbornness, a lot of ignoring a situation that needs to be talked about. This is multiple partnerships. Maybe for some of you, this could be family as well, coming between you and this person's energy. This person is ignoring it. This is what I'm seeing here. There's a um, apology that is happening here as well. Some force of apology. This person is coming to apologize. They want to like, they feel like they're fated to you. Look at this. Wow. Like they're fated to you. They want to apologize to you. They want another chance. It's crazy because you're going through so much trials and tribulations, but here you have the high front that is like traditional. And it's like, despite everything that you are going through with this person, this person wants to work it out as well. But there was something that occurred within your situation where this person, there was a lot of lies, a lot of alone time. This is what I'm seeing. Like this person made you feel abandoned or this person made you feel like like you were enough within this connection. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I'm picking up. <sighs> but you're so spiritually connected that you already knew that there was some lies that was going to come. There was some lies what that was going to be re revealed within the situation. Like this person lost control. Something about control, y'all. Look at that. The seven of wands, seven of swords. Oh, my God. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> What's the energy here? What's the energy? For Scorpios. What's the energy pull for Scorpios? Wow. Marriage confirm, y'all. Number 10. Like this person still wants to work on the marriage. <laughs> two soul two soul lies. Okay. So there's oh my gosh. You know when I made this card, it was supposed to be ties, and somehow the angels made me type lies okay two soul lies and i'm seeing 12 12 here and i'm seeing that you guys are trying to separate because it says it's crazy the angels made me write it like that it says here partnership okay deep love fighting to stay together look at that look at that it's crazy fighting to stay together two soul facing separation 12 12 on the clock y'all that's what this is. A lot of you are dealing with some kind of spiritual healer activity. I'm still feeling like this 10 is just a confirmation that remember when I told you that I'm seeing like a lot of you are supposed to be experiencing some kind of spiritual awakening with each other. You have the King of Cups. Well, not a King of Cups, the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. There is a, a contract within this read. And I'm like, wow. So you're supposed to help each other to communicate. You're supposed to help each other to have some kind of awakening, like a soul awakening, some kind of spiritual awakening, because both of you are actually divine beings, you know, and everybody's a divine beings, but you're gifted. You are gifted, you know, and you also showed up as the high the high priestess so this is a confirmation like you already tapped into your spiritual activities like you just know that this person is telling you the bullshit you know bringing bullshit and this person knows that they can't look you in the eye because 
You already know the truth. You have some kind of spiritual contract with this person. 10, 10, 12, 12. A lot of you are seeing numbers here. Tell me three more and then we're going to close this one. And then we're going to tap into some other reading, y'all. Okay, check out my other channel as well. The scene tarot number two for all these signs, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <laughs> all right, so let's see, let's see what we got. All right, so we have, ooh, so this was your first everything. This was your first love. For those of you, this could be the first person that you had a real relationship with, okay? Something about this person touched, this person kiss, okay? Like you will always remember this person. You always will. You always have. Like no one can get on top of this person even though you're going through the hardship. This is why a lot of you marry this person. This is why you, you know, you said vows to this person, okay? But you need a lot of healing. A lot of you are dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Look at that, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? I'm sure Virgo is somewhere around here. <laughs> I don't feel like looking for it. You know, I'm just like, honestly, Virgo. Look at that. That's crazy. In the magician, Gemini Virgo. Okay, it's like the angels are reminding you, like the universe is reminding you to do what you need to do. Stay in love with the earth. Nourish the relationships around you. Nourish the earth around you. As long as you do that, you're going to be okay. You're going to be balanced. Because this relationship need balance. And I'm seeing the Holy Spirit bringing some kind of balance. Look at that. Six of Pentacles. Even though I don't feel like it's this person bringing in balance, y'all. This person is giving you a lot of hiccups within your life. They were trying to control something here. Let me just push out because I've been, I'm all the way in. They were trying to control something here that just, they just let it fall, fall to the ground. This is what I'm seeing, fall to the ground. And then you have the lies with the seven of swords. That is also like, hello, hello. Like it's revealed. But the angels are saying stay loving and kind. It's important because first of all, look at this. The nine of pentacles is in reverse. The eight of pentacles are in reverse. This person is avoiding the matter at hand. And the crazy thing about it is like you're going through so many things with this person. But your ace of pentacles is still in the upright. New stuff is coming in to, to better that home, to better your whatever you're struggling with, whatever this person like left on your back because you had a lot of responsibilities that this person left i'm sorry about my nails y'all it's broken honey i was deep cleaning and it's, it just broke um <laughs> but there's a lot of things that are on your back y'all that you overcame look the, the five of pentacles overcame in reverse you are waiting for this person you give the person the benefit of a doubt this person is still not making a decision, not choosing you, not coming after you, but the Holy Spirit is making a way, making a way, new abundance. You need to find your independent and who you are. Again, your identity, because you have lost that within this connection. But this person is coming back, but without that independent like energy, that, that, that high vibration about yourself, you're not going to win this. You need to be at a high vibration and deal with this person. This person ain't coming in to give you nothing much. This person not coming in. Look at the eight of They're still coming in at the, as themselves of how they left. Of who they are. They haven't changed one bit. <laughs> All right, y'all. But I'm seeing a conversation. This is what I have. All the information is in the description box. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.